Hello everyone, we will continue the topic change document log for Z tables. When in the previous video, we selected the checkbox, which is in the data element checkbox for change document. And after that, we went to SCDO transaction code we gave the name of the change document object. We provided the name of the table for which table we are creating change document object. Now I will simply simply click on to generate button now. Now we are generating the change document log when a change document object, sorry, we are generating the change document object. Whenever I will generate the change document object, SAP will generate one function module and that function module will play a vital role in maintaining our change document log or history. Suppose I'm clicking on to generate button. You can see it is asking, do you want to create a function module? Yes, I will go for function module. Now I will go for generate. And I got this kind of pop-up. Now same to same pop-up. I will show you if you have the old SCDO because it should not be the case that you stuck somewhere. Now I will show you up to this level in old SCDO. The main benefit is in new SCDO, we have less number of steps. Now you can see after this in the previous video, we reached up to this level. You gave the name of the change document object. You provided the name of the table. After that, you need to click on to back button. Once you click on to the back button, you need to put the cursor on your change document object and you need to click on to this generate update program button generate update program button in new scdo it's very easy we are able to see the change document object and we simply simply click on to the generate button when we clicked on to the generate button we got this kind of pop-up but there's nothing that you will stuck somewhere in old scdo you need to go to the back button. Once you go to back button, you will be able to see your change document object which you created. You need to click on to generate update program and you can see we have same to same kind of pop-up. We have same to same kind of pop-up is there. Now, now SAP will create a function module automatically. So we need to give the name of the function group. We all know function group is a container for the function module. Yes, function module ultimately which SAP will generate will store into a function group. So I will give some name to the function group. Suppose I'm saying ZFG underscore order H. Suppose I'm going for a function group for order header table. I gave this name. I will simply, simply click on to generate button. Once I will go for generate, SAP will generate a function module. Firstly, it is asking function group does not exist. Do you want to create? Yes, I want to create this function group. I will go for yes. And you can see this is the information and this is the most most important scene. Have you seen 
SAP gave some name of the function module. And this is the most important question from the interview perspective also. Whenever we are going for change document object, whenever we are generating, SAP is generating a function module. What is the naming convention of that function module? Z order H. Z order H is the name of our change document object underscore write underscore document. So SAP will simply, simply create a function module. And what is the naming convention of the function module? Your change document object name underscore write underscore document. And same to same thing is here. Change document object underscore write underscore document. And now please, please click on to the activate button. So once we activated, yes, we are getting a message that everything is created. We have the function group. We have the function module. If I will show you the older SCDO, now you will not face any differences. Whatever the differences are there, it was in the previous two to three steps. And you can see, we have to give the name of the function group. We provided the name of the function group and we clicked on to the generate button. Once we generate, clicked on to the generate button, you can see we are getting these kind of thing. This is the function module, your change document object underscore write underscore document. And it is clearly mentioned what is the naming convention of the document name plus what is the keyword underscore write underscore document. Now we will simply see this function module what is in this particular function module. You all know that you can check the function module in SC37 transaction code. And we have not done anything. SAP generated this function module. And in the next video, this function module will play a vital role. This is the function module. Now, if I will go to import tab, you can see we have so many import parameters into this particular function module. We have one tables parameter also, and you can see we have so many source code also into this function module. We have not done anything. SAP generated this function module, and this function module will pass the log to which particular table? CD post and CD HDR table. So in the next video, we will simply, simply use all these parameters and we will pass the logs to CD post and CD HDR tables. So what is the summary of this particular video? In this video, we clicked on to the generate button. If you have new SCDO, no problem. If you have old SCDO, you need to go to back button, put the cursor on your change document object, and you need to click on to generate update program button. So whenever you will click on to generate button, SAP will give you one pop-up. At that time, we need to give the name of the function group because whenever we will click on to generate button, SAP generates a function module automatically. And what is the naming convention of the function module? Your change document object underscore write underscore document. So we gave the name of the function group. And yes, SAP created that function group when we clicked on to the activate button. Yes, function group, function module, everything is created. And we check this function module in SC37 transaction code. 
which has source code also, which SAP has written. It has import parameters also and tables parameter also. In the next video, we will use this function module to maintain our log or history. And SAP also did the same to same thing. Suppose in the previous videos, when we change the material through MM02, so ultimately SAP has also, also this kind of function module, which is passing the log to CD post and CD HDR table. And we are doing same to same thing. So that's it in this video. Thank you.